Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. We've got a couple items to hit in science. We've got a weather warning, some concerning seismic activity. We've got a growing concern in the sunspot situation as well. And of course, we're starting with the last 24 hours on our star. Solar flares have continued, and I don't believe it'd be wise to place a bet on them stopping today. The northern active region is home to a significantly dangerous sunspot group. Plasma filaments to the south are eruption threats as well. Let's take a look at the birth and growth of the trailing sunspots to the lumbering, expansive, decaying group. It's almost overtaken the original group in size now and contains a phenomenal Delta-class sunspot situation. You're looking far left side where the blue and red are tightly packed together. That's how you get solar flares. It is directly facing Earth today. We're at seismicity up next, and when there was an earthquake swarm of tiny magnitude at Santorini, it was mildly interesting. But now that it has continued and reached up to moderate magnitudes, time to deliver full focus. It's one of the top 10 scariest volcanoes on the planet, not one we want to see emerging from its slumber. We're eyes open there. Up next, weather warning for the West Coast. Atmospheric river is lined up and will be delivering flood potential. We're looking at the high-level moisture content from the Goes West satellite here. Northern reach of the flow will be snow, but not over the Emerald Triangle. Mark the calendars, folks. We're about 40 days out from a total lunar eclipse. Highest visibility is dead center there. Bad news for Asia. Save this map or the link to it below in today's list. If you have clear skies, it's going to be pretty. Finally, we're finding an excellent paper on geomagnetic reversals and how there are probably a lot more in the past than they are missing. The frequency of these pole shifts is much higher than what we've been told, and they are now working to map that out completely. By the way, with the magnetic pole shift underway already now, this study means we're likely much more overdue than we've been told as well. Folks, it's definitely moving towards an inflection point where if you wait too long, tickets for the major events at Observer Ranch won't be available. Pick the date and get started at ObserverRanch.com. Can't wait to shake your hand. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow right here, but right now it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.